Welcome to the Street Manager Change Management Guide for Small Organisations. If you're watching this video, you're probably a small organisation, either an HA or a promoter, or you're a relatively large organisation who has limited resources to implement the change to Street Manager. In either case, you're having to juggle delivery management with your daily business as usual job. You've received a number of change management documents from DFT and you know that change management is going to be really important but you're already stretched and worried that you might not have enough time to go over all of it. So, where do you start? Well, the best place to start is with the playbooks, which fit into three parts. The first is planning, so the tools to help you understand the impact and how ready you are to embark on business change journey. The second is delivery, so change approach to help you address the needs identified from your impact assessment. And the final part is measuring, so tools to help you monitor your progress and the success of your interventions. Where do you start? Well, the best place to start looking is for the change playbook on GitHub. There's lots of material here, and the best place to start is the checklist, as this offers an easy step-by-step -step guide on how to manage the change. And that's what we're going to do now. So the checklist is a good place to start as it essentially offers a step-by-step -step guide on which order to tackle the business change material in. As you can see, we have categorised each section into either recommended for all or optional for the smaller organisations. The key message here is that whilst we've provided you with tools, templates and some questions to prompt your thinking, you are free to take and use these in the best way that suits your needs. This means that you decide what and how much detail to put in there. You decide whether you want to use the full functionality of the tools, for example using the dashboards, or whether you just want to use them as a register. So, based on this checklist, the first place to start is the overview document, and that's where we're going to go now. The Street Manager overview document provides a snapshot of the whole project. We recommend that you familiarise yourself with this, but also distribute it to your stakeholders, and in particular, anyone who needs a quick download of the project without necessarily seeing all the details. Whilst on the road, a lot of people told us how useful a business case would be to help for approvals. So as a result, we've put together this business case for you. As this document will provide you with a lot of background information about um, Street Manager, as well as anything that you need for commercial, financial, and strategic purposes. Sponsors of the project in your organisation might need to sign this off, and other managers might be interested in the content. Once you've reviewed these, we would recommend starting with the analysis. The first one you should do is the impact assessment, um, as this will enable you to access all elements of the change and how they all link to each other. It is really important that you consider the interdependencies between people, processes and technology as well as ways of working rather than looking at these in isolation. You might find it helpful to read through the guidance section um, of these documents. For example, in the impact assessment guidance you'll find a number of questions here um, that may help with the assessment of the impact on each organisational element. The street manager uses the other stakeholders, any processes that may change IT environment. These questions are specific to street manager, but are not exhaustive. With all of the business change um, content, these are provided as an aid rather than as a recipe that you need to follow. You will see there's also a tool navigation and the impact assessment tool itself, as well as visualisation and pivots. Once you're done with the analysis and have an informed view of the potential challenges, risks and opportunities you might face, you might benefit from reading through the best practice in the change management strategy. This document outlines the importance of having a robust change management approach in place and provides examples of techniques that you may want to adopt when engaging with your stakeholders. You can use the roadmap templates um, to develop communications and training plans if you wish. And you might also want to have a look at the DFT roadmaps provided to align activities. The key is that this document is for guidance purposes only. You will need to come up with a plan for your delivery. If you're struggling with capacity, we will recommend creating, as a minimum, a plan on a page, and the high-level roadmap will help with this. The plan on a page can be used to communicate intentions, 
and progress to other stakeholders, e.g. management. You might even want to consider incorporating this into your business case. If you do have time, a more detailed plan might help you monitor activities on a daily or weekly basis. You can use the provided delivery plan template if you want. Both of these come with pre-populated activities that we thought would be relevant for most organisations. You will, however, need to adjust these to fit your needs. The Engagement and Training Needs Assessment and Tracker allows you to analyse the engagement and training needs of all your internal and external stakeholders. Of course, you will want to track who in your organisation needs training and whether they have received it. How are we going to work in the new world otherwise? However, when planning engagement, we sometimes tend to forget the non-obvious stakeholders, i.e. the non-users such as people in our IT department, managers, people in other teams who may be affected by the change, external organisations, vendors, other LHAs and promoters, regulatory bodies, essentially anyone who might be impacted by um, the project. You can decide on the level of detail you want to go into. For example, you can go down to individual level um, or keep your stakeholders at a team or departmental level. However, what this tool is particularly helpful in is prompting you to include all relevant stakeholders in your considerations. As well as obvious mon obviously monitoring progress to make sure everyone in your organisation and the external world has been engaged when necessary. It is important that you record and keep track of any risks or issues that you may encounter. You are free to use the template we have provided for you, or if you'd rather use your organization's template, that's perfectly fine too. What is important is to make sure that you keep on top of these. Everyone who needs to be aware of these risks has been engaged. You regularly brainstorm on mitigations and you track the progress of actions. So when should you do all of these things? Well, let's go back to the checklist and have a look. Even if you don't know when you're transitioning yet, we recommend that you start with the prep sooner rather than later, as it will save you time and stress further down the line. The first thing that we would suggest doing is obviously having a look at that overview document and the business case and getting it to management, then the impact assessment, Next, the high-level plan, once you're done with the impact assessment, after all, the, this and the change strategy will help you formulate the plan. And then finally, assess and track engagement and training needs for the autumn. So how can I be smarter about doing this? We recognise that given the size of change, it's important to try and be as smart as possible when completing this. So you can use as much or as little detail as you like. You don't need to go down to every individual person. You can use team names or departments. Use the navigation guidance available in each documentation as it will really help you. Use the built-in graphs and dashboards for a quick view for you and for management. And finally, look out for the next videos which will be dedicated to specific documents such as the impact assessment. And what if I want to do more? Well, you can always have a look and do work through the full um, checklist as there's lots of things on there to keep you busy. Finally, if you need some help, you can always get in contact with us via the Ask the DFT or Business Change Slack channels and you can email us directly with the street manager at dft.gov.uk email address. Thank you for listening, we hope this has been helpful and do get in touch if you have any questions.